The local church had been demolished, the local school, the working men's club was derelict. We basically live in Middleport Pottery. It's a regeneration programme for the building, but I feel regenerated. I've got a second chance. It makes my tummy turn over every time I've seen these buildings. They're our heritage, our past, and it's very important. There wouldn't be a community here without Middleport Pottery. The community really needed this space to have life breathe back into it. The UK HBPT, they've kept it alive. They've been able to revive the history and the culture and the heritage. And not only that, it also keeps people in work. Well over 100 jobs would have been lost. And what's more exciting is there's new things happening here. It's really important for us to be here as makers. We add another string to the bow of Middleport. People come in to come and see us working in our workshop and it helps to keep places like this sustainable. There's nowhere locally that does such a varied amount of activities. You can nest for clay, trails and activities and Middleport just makes it fun. It makes me feel excited because it always has joyful stuff as well. Middleport Pottery is absolutely thriving and that's bringing people and an excitement and a buzz to our community. It's definitely regenerating local pride. People, they want to visit. It's a place people want to be. It makes living here so much better. <laughs> now that Middleport Pottery is fully functioning, it's a catalyst to look at the other buildings that are in the area. Harper Street, for instance, that, that hopefully there's going to be more opportunities across there. People are absolutely thrilled by the fact that Stoke-on-Trent and this area is undergoing a resurgence instead of so much decline. All the volunteers are enthusiastic about it because they're actually keeping a piece of local history and the, the way things were alive. We really owe Middleport Pottery and all the staff that work here a lot because it inspired us. That was the vision that made us believe we could do something more with the rest of the community. We had so much support from UK HBBT and without that we wouldn't have been able to, to be where we are now and still be here. I'd lost my job, I suffered depression and anxiety. Coming to Middleport as a volunteer made me feel as if I was wanted again. When Prince Charles came, he went to the ordinary working people and that's what these places are important to. It's the little people, the communities. What we're doing if we wasn't doing this, probably volunteer somewhere else to be quite honest.